Hi, Tracy Noppy here. Today I'm going to do a Pinterest tutorial to show you how you can add a custom landing tab on your Facebook page that contains all of your Pinterest content, all your boards and all of that kind of stuff. Just like you see right here, I've already added this to my uh, personal profile and it shows all of my boards and you could, you know, click um, any of these and, you know, go to the board view the board, pin it, repin it, whatever, all from Facebook, see who I'm following and all that kind of stuff. So what I use to do that is, um, and see here I've, I've clicked on one of the boards and you can like click to pin or repin. Um, I actually have scrolling turned off, probably will turn that on for, um, so that you could, because it doesn't always re fit really, really well. Um, it does on this part, but when you click on the boards, you have to scroll. So I'll show you how you can turn the scroll bars on so you can easily scroll and it doesn't get cut off. Okay, what this the uh, app that I use, the Facebook app that I use, it's by Woobox. Here's the URL to it right up here, apps.facebook.com forward slash iframe host. Um, you could probably search static iframe or Woobox. Um, up here in the search bar at Facebook and it would pull that up also. I actually have mine saved um, on my browser. I have like a thing it pulls up all the tabs. I want to click this pin push pin icon because that makes sense to use that. And when I do that it's automatically going to say okay what page do you want to put it on? So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to choose this page. Yes I want to add that. Okay, and it should have it down here. See where it has the push pin and the welcome? I want to click that. And it'll take a few seconds to come around. And so then what I want to do is I do want to enable this fan gate bug workaround just because um, if you ever wanted to have somebody see something else, you don't have to, but I usually do because it's a workaround for a bug. So then click the URL. You want to uh, grab this URL and you want to paste this in and then you want to make one edit before after the um, forward slash and before the P put M dot that pulls in the mobile version of Pinterest so it fits nicely in your little frame and then I increase this by you can increase this if you want to like to a thousand depends on how many boards you have if you add scroll bars it's going to add scroll bars over on the right side over here and it'll add scroll bars at the bottom. So if your boards that you're pulling in are longer or wider, or the content is longer than wider than this area that you're allotted, it'll have scroll bars so you can maneuver around and see all the content. That's really all you need to do. Um, I'm gonna change the name to Tracy Pinterest. You can call that whatever you want. You can name it whatever you want. You can say my pins or whatever, and then click save. Okay, now we're going to come over here and view the tab. And it changed the name of it right here because I saved it. And it should start pulling that in. See, voila, there you go. Okay, now let's check this, make sure. See, it should have, see, it's not showing those scroll bars. And I don't know why it's not doing that because it should do that. Um, if I click on this, mm, okay. And I'm just checking it to make sure that the settings are going to work. See, it's not. Let's come back over here. If you need to edit anything, this is how you edit it. Click on the tab over here and then click on the settings again. Ah, I checked to hide the scroll bars. Didn't want to do that. Okay, click Save Settings. Okay, now I want to view the tab again. And I should have scroll bars. Yes, I do. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. And you just scroll on down just like this. And if you click on anything and it is too big or too wide or whatever, say you wanted to repin, you know, this, um, you can actually scroll down here and you can scroll over and you can add your comment and you can pin it and do whatever you want. So that's it. Um, pretty easy, just like adding any other custom landing tab. You want to come over to, um, you know, put in, you can search in iframe, static iframe is it, um, that, that is it, or it's, it's made by Woobox. So either one of those, however you do it, if you go directly to the URL I provide or search static iframe in Facebook, it'll pull it up. 
and it'll just follow the steps that I just gave you and you can pull in your Pinterest into your um, Facebook custom landing tab and have other people follow you on Pinterest. Hopefully that helped you. I will talk to you later.